We want you to see it because uh, there are some very loyal fans who are nervous. They're worried about one of their favorite movies being remade. Why remake it? Why? Why? Dear God, why, you ask? <laughs> Shut up, it's too late. We already did it. <laughs> you will not be disappointed. So without further ado, you are the second humans only to ever see this footage. So without further ado, <laughs> Evil Dead, the remake. You shouldn't have touched anything from that basement. Kunda. Strata. Montose. Kanda. We're all going to die tonight. I read a passage from that book. I released some evil. Am I, am I gonna be in that movie? No. It's not like I didn't try, I auditioned. <laughs> said I was too old for the role. That's all right. We paid him back. <laughs> and we bounced his check. <laughs> that will teach the little bastard. <laughs> the making of this Evil Dead? The original Evil Dead. The one from 33 years ago. I'm not shitting. You guys have known to be the 33 here today, but except you, you're like 70. <laughs> it's all good. You don't have a day over 68. <laughs> so, sorry, sir. What were you asking? I got it. There was a story that you got your jaw broken. I got my jaw broken on the original Evil Dead. It's a different lie than we've been putting out. <laughs> the lie that we've been putting out is that the, the final shot in Evil Dead is this comes racing through the cabin. This evil entity comes right up to me and smashes into my face. And the big lie that we were putting out, it worked pretty well because I've heard it over and over again now, is that Sam, the only way to get the shot, he put the camera on a motorcycle. And he rode the motorcycle through all the doors and then when he hit me, he just had to hit me. There's no way it was going to work, and I was willing to do it, as long as we got it. Took it for the team. Yeah, I took it for the team, so I broke like four ribs. Sam hurt his knees, he bent the gas, you know, the gas tank in with his knees, flipped over the camera and knocked his teeth out. What really happened? Uh, nothing at all like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks, it's a good lie. But no, no broken jaw. But there, there were various reports that I was injured in a motorcycle accident. And I love the fact that people still believe that. <laughs> Yes, over here. How does one become a beast like Bruce Campbell? How does one become a beast like Bruce Campbell? Define beast. <laughs> you look at yourself in the morning, what do you see? <laughs> I see something that needs to be taken care of. <laughs> that was a stupid question. see it at the first opportunity you have. The Evil Dead musical, if it's done really well, with a lot of money, and with good actors, it can be a whole lot of fun. Cabin in the woods, yeah. We're five on the street, it's on our way to my home of in the woods. And if it's done poorly, with crappy actors, with no budget, it can be a whole lot of fun. <laughs> you can't lose with that, with that play. Uh, my favorite number is called, What the Fuck Was That? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Your sister has turned into a zombie. What the fuck was that? Your girlfriend was a demon too. So it's, it's very enjoyable. It's like beach, plank, and bingo with carnage and mayhem. And the first three rows are the splatter zone. His limbs get cut off and blood is spurting. I went to see it uh, off-Broadway in New York City, the closest I'll ever get to that. And a guy came in an opening night with a white tuxedo and sat right in the front row. And the cast members know, so they, they just hosed this guy down. He walked out of there, he was pink. He had, he had a smile on his face. 
Stacy, he's got it framed, I'm sure of it. <laughs> so go see it, it's, it's hilarious. And they figured out a way, unlike us, to, to combine all three movies, elements from all three movies. And I pity, I met the first guy who played Ash. And he was kind of a dick to me. <laughs> I'm like, what's your problem? He goes, well, you only had to do this shit once. I, I got to do it seven days a week in a matinee on Saturdays. <laughs> <laughs> Eat it, bitch. <laughs> so, we never spoke again. <laughs> Oddly, he was fired just after that. <laughs> uh, yes, all the way in the back. Start with a big sack of cash, like you said before, <laughs> and then you're good to go. I did the first Old Spice ad, and they called back. They're like, we want another one. Can you sing and play the piano? I said, no and no. They went, perfect. <laughs> In touch with the ground, I'm on the hunt, I'm after you. So, I made the most money in one day doing something I can't do. It didn't make any sense at all. But sure, let's do another Old Spice. Let's do it. A lot of smelly people in the world. <laughs> yes, right here in front. How do I keep the sexy up after all these years? I have a hot ass wife and we still do it. <laughs> went there, lady. <laughs> Who came up with Bubba Hotep, the movie Bubba Hotep? <laughs> Joe R. Lansdale, he wrote a novella about this, and Don Coscarelli from Phantasm fame sent the script over, and it was the weirdest script I had ever read in my entire life. But I thought Joe Lansdale did a great job, completely absurd story for those of you who hadn't seen Bubba Hotep. I play a 68-year-old Elvis Presley who has cancer on his penis and he's dying and he's Texas rest home. And he hooks up with Ossie Davis, the great actor Ossie Davis, who thinks he's JFK and that somebody dyed him black. And then he's got a bag of sand and his brain's being operated by batteries back at the White House. We team up to save the old folks home from a, a mummy that sucks the souls out of old people through their butts. <laughs> I said, where do I sign? Where do I sign? <laughs> I mean, you can't, how can you lose with something so absurd like that? Every day I kept going, Ozzy, I know why I'm in this movie. Why are you in this movie? <laughs> His grandchildren talked him into it. He goes, I didn't know who the hell you were, but my grandkids did. They like those terror pictures that you did. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> so it was a great experience. And I worked with an Elvis impersonator for five minutes. Because <laughs> he quit. He goes, let me see your stuff. So I started doing stuff. He goes, forget it, man. You're never going to get it. <laughs> I said, you suck as a teacher. <laughs> Why'd you bring that up? <laughs> Jeez. Did I ever want to go back to playing Ash? Have you seen those movies? I'm amazed I don't have to have a limp. Well, I do, sir. Yeah. Um, no, those were physically horrifyingly brutal, sir. I was 21 when we did the first one, you know? When you're 21, nothing really breaks. And you don't care, you'll just do it. And then... Six years later, you're saying, yeah, you're okay, you're still in my late 20s, yeah, no problem. And then the army of darkness, you're like going, oh, fuck, that hurt. <laughs> so, that was 21 years ago. Army of darkness was 21 years ago. So, might be a no, I don't know. <laughs> Sam Raimi still claims he wants to make it. He wants to make Evil Dead 4 in addition to the remake. Look, and the reason is, you know, this remake, 
There hasn't been an Evil Dead movie in 20 years. We, we, because we may or may not make another one, we thought, let's, let's give the new generation of folks a movie that you can't see the green garden hose spewing shit. <laughs> Too much to ask. We, just, we didn't. We wanted to not see the wires and stuff. That's all. So we did, and all the actors in that in that movie are better than we ever were combined back then. I'm telling you. Yeah, believe me. I know. <laughs> yes. Uh, Army of Darkness. Army of Darkness. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. I got news for you, pal. You ain't leading but two things right now. Jack and shit. And Jack left town. How many of those lines were improvised and how many were in the script? Most of them were in the script. But Sam would throw out lines while you're shooting, while the camera's rolling. He'll give you a speech. He'll go, no, okay, now say this. Well, I'll well, 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 give you like a freaking paragraph. I have to think about it. He goes, why, why are you waiting? Just say it. I went, because you just gave me a paragraph to learn instantly. <laughs> Lady, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave the store. Who the hell are you? Name's Ash. Housewares. He did that all the time, while the camera's rolling. So in dailies, you just watch me going... <laughs> Listen, you primitive screwhead, you know. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. No, 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 that's not it. I want you to say it like this. <laughs> Listen, you jerk screwhead, you know. On and on and on. I went for 100 days with that guy. Why we're not making another one, this man. <laughs> I do know that Give Me Some Sugar Baby, that was Sam made that one up. We were ready to shoot the scene. I was ready to kiss M. Beth Davis, you know. Nice, passionate kiss. We can't find Sam. Where's Sam? We find him giggling in the, in the corner of the studio. <laughs> I'm like, what's happening? We're, can we shoot the shot? He goes, I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> I'm like, what? You're gonna say, he couldn't even get it out, he was so excited. <laughs> you're gonna say, give me some sugar, baby. <laughs> so that's the stupidest line I've ever heard in my life. He goes, shut up, you're gonna say it. Give me some sugar, baby. Campbell, he'll turn on you like that. <laughs> get over there and say that line and hurry up about it. Quit making me wait. <laughs> That's why we're not making another one. <laughs> I like a character with flaws, like Ash. Like the character Ash, he had, he has no special service, special ops. He wasn't in any military whatever. He's just a, a jerk who is put in command of hundreds of people. Do you realize, because he didn't say the words right, he caused the deaths of hundreds of innocent people. <laughs> You don't get that anymore. You don't get that in a movie. You don't get heroes who are so tragically and permanently flawed that everybody sitting in the audience here could do better than that guy. <laughs> Out of all the characters that you play, which one is your favorite? All the characters. Which one is my favorite? Uh, I'm not dead yet, A. <laughs> so, I don't know. Top five? Ash was certainly a top five character. Why not? What about Sam Burno? Sam Burno is absolutely top five. Show on cable, I appreciate that. Thursday, <laughs> Thursday coming soon in November. November. Yeah, whatever. I'm already running for that office. Uh, some people want Mitt Romney to win so that I can spoof him on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> what movie did I have the most fun? I have a theory. If a movie is easy to make, it's hard to watch. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? <laughs> when you sit around on the set telling jokes, <laughs> you're not really working hard enough. So, the movies that are fun usually suck. <laughs> so the movies that are, were an absolute pain in the ass to do, like Army of Darkness, are, uh, I think, have a better result. Now that it's an American movie classic. <laughs> we got a call from New Line Cinema. How about Ash versus Freddy versus Jason? I went, sounds great. Ash could kill both of those assholes. <laughs> there was a long pause. They went, um, well, no, you can't, actually. <laughs> it was actually very short.
short uh, phone call. Sequel to My Name is Bruce. Uh, why? Because it made a hundred million dollars? That thing wasn't released, it escaped. <laughs> showing up today. You don't have to be here. This convention is very happy that you're here. It's a fun place to go and not be ridiculed like you are at your office where you work. <laughs> you have a thousand instant friends and a lot of you are going to get late this weekend. I know it. You left us later. I left you back and let's do it. And I'm glad for all of you. It sounds great. Because people say, well, don't those fans scare you? No, it, it would scare me if people didn't do this because they would have no outlet for all of their insanity, so I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you for coming, have a great